Okay. Good morning, afternoon, evening, everybody. Welcome to the lab. I'm Bettina Makeley, aka Fairy Webmother. And today I'm hoping to do a little experiment. I think it's going to work. I'm going to make a paper tassel. And, uh, but I have a couple of little tricks. So, um, anyway, I want to, I'm working on, um, a flow journal for a uh, swap, and the theme is travel. So I'd like to make a little tassel um, from, sorry if that made a lot of noise, from this map that I have of Ontario from 1990. It's an old map. I pick up maps at estate sales and stuff. Anyway, hi Ontario. Hope some of you are watching. That would be cool. Um, so what I want to do is, because I want some real obvious map stuff, and let's see, so I think I'm going to take a piece right out of the middle, sort of, oh that's a cool ship there, I don't know, I was going to do it on this side, alright, well I'll do this. And uh, I'm just going to, you see how I've unfolded this, I'm just going to cut it along here. And I'll get it all back in the picture pretty soon. Just give me a second. And uh, I'm just going to cut it right along the fold line. And then I'm going to paint, cross that there. I'm going to paint the least interesting side of it. And I'm thinking that's probably this side, unless, ooh, let's cut this out, because I might be able to use that, and I'll just cut it off here, because th those are always fun for tags when you're a big city. Um, anyway, so now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to even this up a little bit, because it's bugging me, and I'm a little OCD like that. So, I'm just going to even that up. You don't have to. You can leave this all crazy and weird and different. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to very quickly slap some paint around on this side with all the uh, lettering and stuff. And I, the colors I'm going to use are, this is Apple Barrel Colors. And I'm going to use some Pool Blue, which is Bun, if it will come out, there we go. A little pool blue, a little candy pink, which I had to put some water in to this would be really thin. It's not usually that thin, but that's all I need. And let's see here, this is Deco Art Neon. What you need is a good neon yellow with those two colors, and uh, and then you'll get some nice combinations. They mix well, although I don't know how well they'll mix on this blue, we'll have to see. Um, okay, so all I'm going to do now is grab a scraper of some kind. I just have this corrugated cardboard. I'm going to scrape it around on there. Or I can use the um, makeup sponges. So I'm just going to grab some color and, uh, and just start kind of just getting it on there. I really want this whole side of this um, colored. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but hopefully... Um, when we make the tassel, you'll see a little map and a little colorful stuff, and you probably get what I'm trying to do. And uh, I'm just doing this on a piece of freezer paper, which I can then use for other cool stuff. So, just going to yeah, get that around. Okay, stick that there. Um, let's see. Let me pull up my sleeves. My sleeves are horrible. I had this really old, crapped up jacket. It's a, you know, a hoodie that I wear when I'm working on stuff. So it doesn't matter that I get paint on it. It doesn't look too great in the video, though. Um, okay, so now I'm going to pick up, I'm going to take this piece of cardboard that I have and pick up some of the pink and just kind of goop it on there a little bit here and there, scrape it on. It's very thin because I sprayed, like I said, I was almost down to the bottom of this and I, I just took my squirty bottle and sprayed some water in there. Ooh, okay, well that broke. But that's okay because this is an experiment. This is Fairy Webmother's laboratory where, laboratory 
where we do fun experiments. And we don't always know if they're going to turn out or not. But I'm thinking this one is going to be pretty cool. I'm hoping. So we got the blue and we got the pink. And boy, do I really like that already. I like it without even adding the yellow. So I may not add too much yellow, but I think it will it'll add some nice color. The yellow is kind of the we used to call it when we were kids, we used to we used to use all the crayons in the box and scribble them on a page except yellow and we'd save that for last and then we'd we'd color over everything with just yellow and we called it the golden touch. Because yellow will change all these colors. You have blue, you have pink. When you put in the yellow, you'll have green, you'll have orange, it'll be great. So yellow is just a magic color that way. Okay, so I think I want just a little more of the pink. Whoa, that's good. Let's drip some. Ooh, just for fun. We can drip some around since it's so thin. Okay, now I'm going to... I was thinking about uh, hitting this with the blow dryer. I just don't know if I'm close enough to it for that to make sense. And I don't want to leave you guys. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this over on my paper here and just maybe get some of it off of there because, yeah, that'll work. So now, let's try a little yellow. We're going to take the little, this is neon yellow. Remember, pool blue, candy pink, neon yellow. And now, see, we've already got some green happening here. So, you get some yellow, you get some green and blue and orange and when you do that so it's really fun this is how I do a lot of my bright pages that you if some of you may have seen in my journals or my when I paint paper these are three of my favorite colors to put together because they mix so well and you get so many colors when you're done so I think that will be good. I think that's good. And now what I'm going to do now is I really am going to just dry this for a second just to get the, you know, the worst of the wetness out of it. I'm going to be right here. Let me grab my dryer, see if I can bring it closer. Okay. Oh, good. Let's see how much stuff flies off the counter when I turn this on. So... It's not too bad. I haven't lost too much yet. I know this is a little loud. So, maybe I can fast forward through this when I post. Let's see. I sh yeah. This is very wet paint. So I'm going to turn it over again. Get some of it off. Okay, now we're getting some more. I think these colors are really pretty. If it's not being drowned out. Okay, that should do it. Okay, so it's a little bitty damp, but I think it will still work. So now, what's going to happen is, so we've got map on one side with a little paint coming through. That's all right. And, uh, and we've got painted papery map on the other side and so now comes the interesting and fun part I'm going to do this on the side that I cut and keep the nice straight side for the top of the tassel and what I'm going to use and I just found these at an estate sale the other day and if you don't have any of these you could probably pick them up at uh, any place that I think Bed Bath & Beyond has them, I think Walmart has them, all kinds of places have them and uh, these are herb scissors, and if you don't know what these are, they're this. Watch this. Check that out. How cool is that? I can't believe I never saw these before, or I don't remember ever seeing them. Anyway, they cut. You can see how they might cut. So, um, so I'm just going to take these and start cutting from this side, and I'm going to cut to the end of the scissors. Just about. Maybe not quite all the way to the end. And then I'm going to move down, and I'm going to cut to the end of the scissors, and I'm going to move down, 
and cut to the end of the scissors. And I'm trying to keep, I don't really care much about how wide they are, but I do care about the top because I don't want to cut too far up on the top. But you can see that this, oh, this actually is going to work pretty cool, I think. So, if this turns out, it'll be awesome. Okay. The, uh, the paper is a little damp still, so it's not getting real crisp at the tips the way I would like. But, whoops, ooh, almost cut through on that one. That's all right. We'll put a little glue on that, and that'll be fine. So I recommend letting the paint dry all the way because some of it doesn't want to, but that's okay. Uh, it's okay. You might have to fiddle with it a little bit, but that's all right. Totally let this dry because it would work a lot better, I think. But well, we're getting there. We're getting there. This is pretty cool. Now what we have to decide when we get to the end of this, whoops, I cut a little piece off. That's not good. I guess we'll start with that end. So, yeah, that's the wettest part. All right, so we got a little bit of weirdness there because we didn't wait for the paper to dry, but if you do, it'll be awesome. So we have this great thing, and there's probably all kinds of fun things we could do with this. But today we're going to make a tassel. And so my thought was that I could use this cord. This is just some plain cord. I thought it looked kind of, if you were a tiny person, this cord would be very nautical looking. So, so, and I have some nautical things in this travel journal that I'm doing. So I'm going to take, I, I just took a piece of it. I didn't really measure. It looks like it's about 14 inches or so. And I just put a couple of knots in each end. And uh, so I'm going to start with this. Even though that's really pretty, because it wouldn't cut all the way through, I'm going to start with this side. And let's see, let's see. We want to make sure that's going to go there. Okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little glue gun. And I'm going to put the... Uh, the string on the inside and I hope I'm getting this in the whoop, here putting the string right here and then I'm just going to turn this over and start rolling it up and you could probably put a little glue drops as you go if you wanted to I think I'm just going to roll it up and uh, try to keep it in the camera and try to keep this part even. And we keep going, keep going. Oh, it's getting there. I think we're going to have a good result. So just keep rolling. I didn't measure, like you saw what I did. I didn't really measure the length of the paper you need to do this, but you can experiment with that. And because uh, they can be, of course, any size, any color. Any paper that's kind of thin it works best. So I've only done this, I, I tried this on a piece of cardstock like one time and I didn't I didn't really do much with it. But I've been wanting to try it this way ever since I did that. So I was gonna use like two a piece of paper that I painted on both sides so it would be different colors in the tassel but then I thought oh this would be so cool with a map on one side so yeah you can see what, what's happening here we're starting to get some nice whoops it's kind of curling in on itself that's all right we can fix that and uh, so we keep rolling and rolling and it's kind of neat that the map has this little thing because that's gonna look that's gonna look cool at the top I think so Almost there, almost there. Almost there. We're getting there. All right, so we have now, we have one more place to put a little glue dot. Right here. Be careful with glue guns. I'm going to have to tell you that. 
You all use glue guns. That's very hot. And there, just... There we go. Now, I could leave this just like this. And a little off there, but... Anyway, so because the AAA thing is kind of cool, you know, it's it's neat. Or I could put a little washi tape around the edge, you know, to pretty it up a little bit. But um, at any rate, this is your uh, tassel made from painted matte paper, which is pretty cool. And you could fiddle with it. You got some people pieces rolled up inside it, but you can you can just fluff it and make it. So, so I had this pretty little matte tassel mixed with some colors and some matte paper and kind of wishing I'd put a little more pink in it this time, but I think it turned out pretty cool. And now I could put, uh, I could put some washi tape at the top if I want to, which I've got this kind of gold washi tape. This kind of has a mappy look. So I'm going to wrap a little bit of that around the top, I think. Am I still? Yep, I'm still in the camera. Yay! So, I just think this would look neat. So, there. Well, that's kind of cool. And now where this is going to go, and I might as well show you that while I've got you here, is in a flow journal that I am preparing for an online swap. And let's see. That's that would be this right here. Let me grab this out and get this out of the way. Okay. So there's this and this. So we have this great little tassel and we have this really cool travel flow journal. I think I'm going to do a, a, a walkthrough of this um, in another video. But uh, it, is for tr it is about travel. I love this little stamp, the, the airplane stamp. And I'm, you know, I'm going to have these little things on the front. But I really wanted a tassel to hang on the back. So that's how that's going to be. And... Uh, I think it'll be really cute. So, if you came by and watched my little video today, um, be sure and like if you liked it, and share and subscribe. And I would love to know if you tried this little experiment yourself. Leave a comment down below. Um, and uh, this is Batina Makeley, aka Fairy Web Mother for Fairy Web Mother's Laboratory. Uh, glad you came to visit in the lab today. Uh, be good, have a great day, and remember to choose love. Bye now.